So I wanted to jump on with you today to talk a little bit about clipping your horse in the summer. I know we've talked in the past, or I have, about clipping in the winter. In the winter when you are riding and training and able to get that horse to dry very quickly, so you might clip that winter coat. <laughs> but what about the summer? What about that time of year for you to clip your horse when the coat's kind of already grown, uh, fallen off or shed it out so they don't have a very heavy uh, winter coat, but are there reasons to clip in the summer? That's what I wanna talk about today, so stick around. Uh, now in the summer there's a few reasons why people would clip their horses. Uh, the first one is what type of horse do you have? If you have one of the heavy breeds, uh, the drafts, the um, gypsy banners, they have very thick coats, very coarse. Uh, they also have those feathers uh, at the fetlock of the horse, very thick feathers. and. Um, those feathers uh, can actually attract mites, which can be an irritant to the horse. So I know owners of those breeds of horses have to manage that. So sometimes they will be clipping those feathers uh, to manage that in the summer. And the other thing is they'll clip the coat in the summer because it is so heavy and thick and it just gives the horse more comfort in the summer months. That's one reason. One very good reason is if you're managing a condition or a disease like Cushing's. And I'm showing in uh, this video, I'm going to show a clip of my friend Cindy. She is clipping her beautiful Oldenburg um, gelding Pele. Yes, Pele. Say hello to everybody. <laughs> She's, she clips him uh, to help um, manage the, um, the Cushing's. Cushing's disease in horses is a condition where the pituitary gland enlarges in the brain. And this interferes with the production of dopamine, which impacts the adrenal glands and the kidneys. Some clinical signs include increased coat length, delayed winter coat shedding, laminitis, lethargy, and increased sweating. This disease can be successfully managed with diet changes and medication. One medication recently approved by the FDA is Pergolide and it's sold under the name Prescend. Cindy has been doing this for five years with Pele who is 23 years old now and he is wonderful and thriving and she's doing upper level dressage with him. So there's definitely success with treating this disease. Clipping Pele helps Cindy to control his body temperature and she clips him both summer and winter and then manages his turnout blankets and sheets and his summer sheeting accordingly. The reason that people will clip horses in the summer is because of competition. I just got back from the Tevis Cup. I crewed for my friend out there. It's a big a uh, very difficult endurance ride out in California, 24 hours, 100 miles, extremely intense competition, horses going that long, and it's very hot, very dry um, out there in California at this time of year. So a lot of the riders did clip their horses. Uh, we clipped KC, Sue's horse. but we wanted heat to dissipate from the rest of her body real quickly, so we clipped basically her body. We did not clip her legs because there, um, there's a lot of debris that, that uh, horses uh, bring up on those trails in, at the Tevis, and uh, you want the, whatever hair is on the leg, even though it's not very thick, to there for protection, so we did not clip the leg. So in the summer, when you do clip, couple of things to keep in mind. Impact that that might have on bug protection, fly protection, if your horse is very sensitive, you'll wanna make sure you're uh, providing um, 
bug spray, sheet, fly sheets, uh, whatever your horse will need, whatever protection that they might need. The other thing is sun protection. If they're out, turned out in the sun, and if they are a coat a color, a light skin coat color that will burn more easily in the sun, you wanna make sure that you're paying attention to that. So there's a couple of things to think about. <laughs> with um, with summer clipping, just like there's things to think about with winter clipping. And if you like the video today, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to A Life With Horses. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And leave your comments and questions below. I'd love to hear, do you clip your horse? Do you not clip your horse? And um, do you do summer clip, winter clip? What are your thoughts on clipping? Okay, and any questions you have. I'm going to link below information about the clippers that Cindy is using. They're Andis uh, clippers. She's been using them for years. Uh, they're her favorite ones. I think they're a really good brand. Um, they have different size clippers, of course. I'll link below information about them. And you want to also bear in mind that you probably will need a couple or several sets of blades. The blades are numbered. So number 10 is a very common body clip size. It, the higher the number of the blade is, the closer it's clipping the horse, the less hair it's leaving. Thanks so much. And I do look forward to seeing you in the next video.